we are excited to welcome Rishmi, who will be presenting on the topic dynamically query the SharePoint folders within the Copilot Studio agent. In this session, Rashmi will showcase how to enhance your Copilot Studio agent by enabling dynamic interactions with SharePoint folders, learn how to empower your bots to retrieve and process SharePoint content in the real time, unlocking smarter, more responsive automation scenarios. So over to you, Rashmi. Thank you very much, Andesh, and hello, everyone. So today, uh, I'll just like covering like how you can down query like contents within a specific path uh, within SharePoint uh, folders. So for that, uh, in as you can see, like in my particular SharePoint library, I have like four different folders, and we can I kind of build it uh, to kind of test uh, the feasibility of how to achieve it. And of course, depending on your requirements, like one of the common requirements, one of it, which was kind of raised, someone kind of reach out on a community WhatsApp group, like asking how we can down query leave policies based on different countries. So if you work there for multinational companies, you can have a folder for different countries having leave policies. So we wanted like an agent to be able like, to do to query uh, these uh, data based on the login user location. So in my scenario, it's uh, for accessibility needs, uh, support uh, for end users, and to enable like uh, for someone who wants to see like what support is available within the company, depending on the accessibility needs. So that's why I have like four different folders, cognitive, hearing, physical, and vision. So um, if I look at my agent in Copilot Studio, I have a custom topic which I've created and um, I'm using like a trigger text, which is um, anything about support or training and how I've kind of configured how to directly read through the different halves within a SharePoint library. I've added um, a generative answers action and uh, and uh, for input, I'm just saying activity text. So that's basically whatever the in end user kind of input as text. And if I go on properties, uh, uh, if you look at the properties uh, available for generative answers, there is um, a toggle for classic data. And after clicking on the toggle, it will kind of uh, list all the different data sources you can add to that particular action. So one of it, if you scroll down, is like public data, and one of them is a SharePoint. We still even have Azure Open AI services, but in my scenario, I'm using SharePoint. And here again, we need to configure that particular data source. And I'm using like the formula tab and in my formula tab, I'm hard coding uh, the SharePoint site URL appended with um, a global variable, which is uh, based on the accessibility need uh, expressed by the end user. And that um, particular, yeah, it's a global uh, variable, which can be passed across different uh, topics within the same agent. And and then if we see how it works, um, so um, currently I have only one topic within that particular agent, but it could have been you have like another topic which kind of determine like um, the um, the accessibility needs for that particular end user. Uh, but for now, uh, I just kind of hard coding. I just say what kind of support training you're looking. If I click on Vision, and um, that's kind of save but value into that global variable. And then if I just do type support, for example, it will query that particular folder and uh, and display like the contents uh, within that particular, uh, yeah, depending on content we have in particular folder. So if you look at the references, I know it's quite small, but it's kind of pegged um, a file within the folder called vision. So I can do another test just to showcase um, it's different. So again, it's going to ask me about the accessibility need. I'll just say hearing and I'll just again do support, same um, 
input, but just different variable button pulsing for earring. And it's going like, to display like all kind of different support that can be provided by the organization, like for example, in terms of assistive technology, or even, uh, yeah, I think this time we just have like the assistive technologies being listed here. Uh, and, and then if you look at the reference document, it's um, taking the content from the particular folder. And uh, thank you for listening. And that's it from me. Thank you, Rishmi. Thank you for sharing your expertise and insight at the Power Lab. We truly appreciate your contribution to improving uh, the Power community or the Power Platform community with a smarter, more dynamic automation solution. So your session was both inspiring and impactful. Thank you again.